the recording. Okay, we are here with Dr. Eric Blundy of Spine Care and in Seneca, South Carolina. And uh, we are just finished your office and you just moved in yes. Monday. This weekend you opened Monday mm -hmm. and we are here taking photographs. While we're here we thought we would take the opportunity to interview you about your experience with us. So, I'm going to start. Um, first question, if someone asked you about your experience working with Crossfields, what would be the key thing you would say? It was a great experience in that you already understood our profession and you understood what we needed and what we were looking for. So it wasn't like going to a designer that maybe you know, just designed regular office buildings with no concept of you know, how patient flow is supposed to be, what kind of uh, material that we had in our office. And so it made it really easy to to have a dialogue back and forth on like, this is what I'm looking for. And you already knew like, oh yeah, I got that. Awesome, awesome. So what was your biggest concern about hiring a designer for your project? My biggest concern was for me personally, was that as we discussed, I did not want my office looking like every other chiropractic mm -hmm. office. And so I was having, I was concerned that I didn't know how to get that across. Um, but what actually turned me on was when I saw that you guys had done the Carrick Institute and had experience with functional neurology in the direction that we were going in functional medicine, I said, okay, you know, you definitely were the, the right choice. Awesome. awesome. So um, was that your biggest concern was, though, that you would look like every other office? That, that was probably one of my biggest concerns was that, and, and honestly, this was my first build, and so... Anytime I go into a situation where I feel the other person knows a lot more than I do and I'm completely clueless, I get a little nervous, but you were very easy to talk with and answered all my questions, so that was great. Well, awesome, because that's the, the second question was how did it ease, how did we help ease each of those concerns? I think you well, touched like on I said, that. Well, yeah, I touched yeah. on that, but I mean, again, just being able to, you know, go through like the fact that you had so much experience with other offices. Um, and you knew exactly what it is that we look for and what we need and you're a patient yourself and you understand all this stuff. That was great. And so I felt immediately at ease. Excellent. Excellent. Um, so this kind of repeats itself, but what were the key reasons you initially chose us to help you or initially came to us? What was... Well, one, I mean, when I saw the designs on your website, we were going for a very high-end look and you guys knocked out of the park. But that's what I wanted, and when I saw that there, I was like, all right, that, that was one of it. Obviously seeing uh, the Carrick Institute on there and what you were able to accomplish there, and just looking at some of the, the other offices and, and being able to take bits and pieces and really even just when we started talking about our inspiration page and immediately like, oh, this is where, what you want and what you want to go, I said, yeah, you, you, it's like you could see right into my mind. Got it. So when you start, and this is kind of, why you initially come to us. Um, when you started this, you had a vision for, mm -hmm. for a new venture, a new, a higher level and stuff. And so, okay, so what the key reason, I guess, would be that you thought we could accomplish that is what I'm hearing you say. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, how did we do it meeting your expectations? Absolutely knocked it out of the park. I mean, everybody, everybody who's walked through our doors just, the, the, the reaction that I wanted, that visceral reaction, I saw it, every single person coming to the door, that's what I wanted, so you guys accomplished that. Well, let me ask you, beyond the finished product, mm -hmm. what about the process? How was that for you? So the, the, the process for me, um, it, it was a learning experience, and I think everybody that does this needs to have realistic expectations on how long it takes to put this together, but it's not a bad thing because a lot of things come up with designing that, um, that you want to make sure are done correctly the first time. And so uh, the process for me was nice in that everything was laid out like this is month one, this is month two, we're going to do this, then from there we're going to go here. And I would say the biggest part of the process that was great for me was that when there was a problem with a construction person or someone didn't know something, 
Carolyn, you knew what to do and, oh, I, I, I know this, or there were things that they did that I wouldn't have even picked up on. And that was nice to know that, okay, I have someone with experience that can say, no, 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 it has to be done this way. Awesome. Awesome. Um, okay. Some of this you've already answered, but I'm going to ask it again. Do you sure. think we understood your needs and your flow and function from the function standpoint, not just the design standpoint? One of the first things that one that yes, that I knew that you guys had it down was when we did the layout on the computer and you actually had the dimensions of the equipment. And so you could show what it looked like in the room that out of probably any phone conversation we had stood out the most because I went, oh my gosh, I can actually see what it's going to look like. And she actually has the dimensions of the equipment that we use in our office. Oh, wow. In there. So that was, that was probably for me one of the coolest moments. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about your particular. You had a remodel. Mm -hmm. You bought a space that was very close to your existing office. Mm -hmm. And you got a great deal on it. Yeah. And it was the square footage that you needed. Mm -hmm. But we went through a lot to play with that plan mm -hmm. to get it to where you wanted. So functionally, it was, it, you had some compromises in there, I guess is what I'm trying to say, but functionally, do you feel like we processed through it enough that you feel like you, I, okay, so my goal when we were going mm -hmm. through the space plan mm -hmm. was that we went through it so much that you were part of this is what I want. This mm -hmm. is how it's going to be. That was my goal. Mm -hmm. And you weren't like going to walk in and go second guess. Why didn't we do something? Mm -hmm. Now you haven't lived in it very long. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you you're not going to have any. Why didn't we do something? Mm -hmm. But do you did you feel like you owned the plan? Was my goal. Did you feel like it was me pushing it on you? No, and I, I never felt pushy. I felt that when you needed to give constructive advice, like okay, if you want to do that, you need to know this then you, you, you did it, but without, like, you, you still left the ultimate decision up to me, but gave points that, realistically, I would not have considered. Okay, okay, good. That was my goal. <laughs> um, okay, so let's think. You've just opened on Monday, and so what do you feel like you've experienced already in this new office professionally and even as a business financially? Well, for one, there's something very rewarding when you walk into something that's been a vision in your mind for really since I was in grad school like and now you see it as a reality um, I literally felt at home on day one there was no learning curve there was no well it's a new space and I mean literally from the moment I walked in this is my house and and I felt awesome with that um, the response from the patients was just incredible I mean, they just were absolutely blown away. Um, and then, I mean, we had our highest day of collections in the first week um, just from the patients. Honestly, their whole, you know, what I say in the room, my exam, how I work, interact with patients, all is the same. The only difference is the environment that they were in. And it just, it really made a change. You could see it in their body language and their, just their willingness to, to listen. It was awesome. Wow, wow. So it's you can see it improving your business. Oh yeah, already. Yeah, yeah already. So it was an investment mm -hmm. to do this. Yeah, absolutely. But you can see that there's gonna you can already see there's gonna be a return on that investment. Absolutely. Investment. That's amazing. Um, okay. What would what advice would you give to other chiropractors that are now in the position you were in when you started this process? We all, as business owners, um, want things done immediately. And that's probably a mistake when doing this. There's so many moving parts that you could not possibly imagine. So what I would say is well, you really want to end up with the final product and not compromise in any of those areas. And to do that, you do need to have a realistic timeline and, and personally I would say to try to plan out about a year I mean if you can do it, it, it and, and my original goal was not to do that but I'm glad I did and we functioned just fine in our other office and I'm glad we did because if not there's no way we could have had it end up the way that we did so I would just say that you know be patient 
it, it will come together and you'll be thankful in the end that you did. That's amazing. Okay. So, do you have any closing remarks or anything you want to add? Um, no, I just, I, I, we've had a year relationship and I just, you know, I'm very thankful for what you've done for our business and our family. And, uh, you know, I, I look to you as, as, as more than just a, someone I've done business with now. And I'm very appreciative of what we were able to do here. You're part of our family now. <laughs> we're part of our chiropractic family. Okay, so we're going to have a great year, and it's going to be very prosperous. Awesome. Yes. And uh, we're here, and yeah. we're here. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.